Hey everybody, what's cooking? Everybody doing good? I hope so. Today, I'm taking on a final test drive of a 1967 FJ40 that's been given a new release on life as Icon FJ44 number 156. This one is built in the new school style. It is the Pacific Blue body color, which is a very nice color. Matches my new jacket I made. We have the typical new school exterior. So the front bull bar with the integrated horn wedge and aux LEDs. We have the dual carrier style rear bumper assembly. We also added that new design we're doing with the new research step in the rear. So that further aids ingress and egress. On that bumper system, of course, you have the storage compartments inside of the bumper. And you also have the aux LED option on this one. Pretty much everyone selects that option now. It's almost standard. What else? Uh, the Icon Machine Galona 6061 fill it rear view. Um, we've got uh, the roof rack and ladder situation, which is removable. We have the front full width Cutco light bar, which is just brilliant. Absurd amount of light, but nice. And uh, other than that, the exterior is pretty straightforward. We've got the black German canvas insulated soft top. The door uppers, of course, are or a quick zip drop to just drop the windows. For the interior on this one, very classic icon new school. Chilowich inserts, German OEM rain rated vinyl for the bolsters and seat backs and bodies. You've got compartments in the back, little sleeve to store junk. And of course the Chilowich mats in that same vinyl. Uh, second row, of course, as always, we've got the bucket seats. Third row on this truck, jump seats. We also have the locking storage compartments, those steel tough and gun rated seats make custom for us. Quite nice. When those seats are down, they're totally hidden. They don't get in the way of the legs. Icon fire extinguisher. We've got the higher end Icon audio system. Focal K2s with separates. We have the Pioneer head unit, next whatever 9000 and something. They keep updating them. Really good product line. So that's got tetherless car play, navigation, HD, AM, FM, CD, all that good stuff. This client had us do the rear camera option on it. We also did the carbon fiber heat blankets front and rear buckets have those two stage heaters which kind of handy. Of course vintage air for the AC system. We're transitioning to the new Gen 5 unit which we're pretty excited about. This unit's been great. No one's ever complained. Well, a couple times we haven't used the AC for it. Especially in the 40 tour, it's hard for it to get all the way in the rear. But the new Gen 5 that is out now it's promising 30% more air volume. So uh, I think two more trucks to start those. Make a couple cat ball mods to brackets and change the fire all wall up just a little bit to get it to index. But overall, it's a tiny bit smaller, way more output. I just think that's dandy. Of course, as always, we have coil over a suspension all the way around. So three bar front, four bar rear. Eibach coils, two and a half inch body box racing sport suspension with the remote nitrogen charged tunable canisters. It's a pretty straightforward truck, so I'm not going to rant too much. You guys have seen this before, probably, if you haven't. Please do feel free to go back to these over 350 Icon final test drive videos posted on our Love YouTube channel. 
And uh, instead, I'm going to move right on to something I tasted lightly in the last video. It wasn't quite official yet, but now, gosh darn it, it is. So, probably everybody watching this is a car guy and girl, and you know Haggerty. So they've been the go-to classic car insurance company in North America for a long, long time run by some really cool people. Well, lately they decided to start diversifying and getting into other businesses. So they've opened up these Haggerty Social that are like car club, garage, storage, event spaces. And they're building a dozen of them around the country. Well, the one here in Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley in Van Nuys um, is super cool. It's two buildings, a huge lot, super secure. They are sponsoring, along with William Henry, which is a wonderful watch, jewelry, and knife maker. They're really famous for their knives. I've been a fanboy of theirs for many, many years. That's my EDC every day from them. This is a pretty old knife. Just lovely product, and we became friends, and what do you know, they're lovely people too. So, to benefit my children's charity, which is called Go Campaign, gocampaign.org, uh, Henry and uh, Haggerty are sponsoring an event that I'm producing. I'm calling it Icons of Design. You can find more details about it at iconsofdesign.org. But basically, anyone who's into classic cars appreciates craftsmanship. To me, that's 100% truth like there's there's no fractional of that personally what drew me to classic car restoration and then modifications and design is that it combines so many different skills and talents and art forms in one cohesive extroverted project that's easy to enjoy and share but i mean you've got leather craft you've got machining of course you have CAD CAM and general design language, but you know, woodworking and just on and on and on. So I am a serial craftsman. I, I've gone through phases in my life doing fine furniture, uh, pre-Raphaelite painting, constructive and deconstructive sculpting. Any of you that follow me on Instagram know leather craft and I've studied all over the world with different masters because I just love, especially lost arts, but I love learning the intimacies, the details, the nuances of pretty much any art form. So that's what the show is. It's a celebration of craftsmanship. So on the outside, you're gonna pretty much have all of the top custom car builders in the country and the motorcycle builders, as well as some new cars, but only the disruptive, interesting, divergent sort like Lucid and Rivian and stuff like that. But then inside, you have approximately 50 craftspeople. And the deal is anyone who's there, it's a holiday sale situation. So 30% of all products sold on the day of the event go direct to my children's charity. With the help of Haggerty and William Henry and me, uh, the charity's not spending a dime, so it should just be a win-win for us gonna have a lot of our local heroes there telling their stories about how they're impacting communities in LA all over the US and all over the world and it's a, it's a really cool charity it'll be an amazing event everything from fine finish wood crafters wood turners furniture makers ceramicists boot makers shoemakers watchmakers jewelers apparel brands fabric arts it's just the list is endless it's gonna be super exciting Wonderful group of people. Our buddies at 1933 Restaurant Group are hosting the bar. So we'll be pouring Madre Mescal and tons of good stuff, starting early with the mimosas. Nothing better than a charity event with shopping and a whole bar. So check it out, iconsofdesign.org. I hope you guys will come. Uh, we would love to have your support, spread the word. Craftsmen are coming from all over the country and uh, a lot of them are like Instagram friends that I follow and lust after their work and I've never met them so I'm really looking forward to the opportunity so there you go that's my exciting announcement November 19th thanks for your time thanks for your positive energy be good to yourselves be good to others see you next week